Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, I'll tell you how to design sequence generator using JK flip-flops. I have already uploaded another video of design of sequence generator using D flip-flops. The link is given in the description box. In this video, we will talk about design of sequence generator using JK flip-flops. So let's take one sequence. So let's uh, say my sequence is 0. 1, 3, 4 and 6. It means my sequence generator will move or can have these states only. So after 0, next 1 will come, then 3 will come, then 4 will come, then 6 will come and after 6 again it will go back to 0. So sequence detector is a circuit which generates specific sequence. So, see here the largest number is 6 and how to write 6 in binary? We can write 6 in binary as 1, 1, 0. So, to represent 6 in binary, we need 3 bits. See, flip-flop is also called as 1 bit memory cell. It means 1 flip-flop can store 1 bit of data. So, here we need at least 3 flip-flops to design this circuit and these flip-flops are JK flip-flops. Let's write truth table for this sequence. So, I need three flip-flops. So, their outputs are Q0, LSB, Q1 and Q2. These three are the outputs. So, here we can write truth table as 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, C. Then we need to find out next states. These are the present states. Here, next states are represented as Q0 plus, Q1 plus and Q2 plus. So, see, if my present state is 0, 0, 0, then what is my next state here? 1. So, next state I will write as 0, 0, 1, binary equivalent of 1. If my present state is 1, 0, 0, 1 is 1, then my next state is 3. So, I will write binary equivalent of 3, that is 0, 1, 1. For 0, 1, 0, 2, we don't have 2 in this sequence. So, 2 will never come at the output side. So, if 2 is my present state, next state is don't care. Then if present state is 3, 0, 1, 1, then after 3 what comes? 4 comes. So, here after 3 it is 1, 0, 0. If present state is 4, then next state is 6. So, for 4, next state is 1, 1, 0. If present state is 5, 5 is not there in my sequence. So, next state is don't care. If present state is 6, then next state is 0. So, for 6, next state is 0. If my present state is 7, then I don't have present state as 7. So, next state is don't care. So, these are my present state. These are my next state. So, see, I know what my present output is and I know what my expected next output is. Now, my job is to identify which inputs I should apply to flip-flop so that I'll get this as my next output. And for that, we use excitation tables. Excitation table tells us if my present output is this, if this is my next output, what inputs I should apply. So, here we are going to use JK flip-flops. So, I will write excitation table for JK flip-flop. Excitation table of JK flip-flop is, this is normal 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, here when present state is 0 and next state is also 0, then J is 0 and K is don't care. For 0, 1 it is 1 don't care and then don't care 1 and don't care 0. So, how you can remember this excitation table? It is very simple. 0, 1 don't care, don't care and then it is exactly opposite. Don't care, don't care, 1, 0. So, now I have 3 flip-flops and that to these are JK flip-flops. So, I need to identify j2 k2 inputs to first flip-flop j1 k1 j0 and k0 
zero. I need to identify these six inputs. So we will start with J two. For this J two, we need to compare Q two and Q two plus. That is present output of Q two and expected output of Q two. So here Q two is zero. Q two plus is also zero. So for zero zero, J is zero and K is don't care. So zero and K is don't care. Now Q two is zero. Q two plus is again zero. So for zero 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 don't care. Then next is zero don't care. So we don't have zero don't care condition here. So what I'll write? I'll simply write don't care, don't care. Then next is zero one. For zero one it is one don't care, one. Don't care. For one one, it is don't care zero. Next is one don't care. So we don't have this condition. So it is don't care, don't care. One zero. So for one zero, it is don't care one. Don't care one. And one don't care. We don't have that condition here. So it is don't care, don't care. Similarly. For J one and K one, we need to compare this Q one with Q one plus. So zero zero for zero 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 don't care. So here I'll use different color. Zero don't care for zero zero. Then zero one one don't care. One don't care. Both are don't care because we don't have one don't care here. So in this way, let's finish this table. Now, our truth table for this sequence generator is ready. Now we know values of J two, K two, J one, K one, J zero, and K zero. Now let's find out equations for these inputs, and for that we need K maps. So here you can see how many inputs we have. We have three inputs, Q zero, Q one, and Q two. So for three inputs, we need K map with eight cells. So let's start with J two. This is K map with eight cells, and here variables are Q two, Q one, Q zero. So I'll simply write Q two, Q one, and Q zero. And see, in digital, every variable can have either zero or one value. So Q two can be zero or one. Here they can be zero 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 one 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 zero. Here we don't use binary code. What we use is gray code. Now let's put values of J two. So here see zero 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 is zero. Zero zero one is one. Zero one one is three. Zero one zero is two. Then so here numbers are like zero one two three four five. See one zero one is five. Triple one is seven. And one one zero is six. So here, let's write the values of J two zero zero don't care one zero zero don't care because two is here and then three is here one and then all are don't cares. After putting values, next step is grouping of ones. So here you can see what how many ones I have. I have only one one. But we can consider don't cares as one or zero. So what I'll do? I will simply make group of these four, three don't cares and one one. This is called as quad. An equation will become J two is equals to. See, we don't have anything common here. Here Q zero is zero and one, so we can't take Q zero. And Q one is one one. So J two is equals to Q one. Similarly, now let's prepare K map for K two. For K two values are four times don't care. So don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Zero don't care, one don't care, zero don't care, one don't care. Now here you can see we can again make group of same four cells. And here again, our equation will become K two is equals to 
q1 so here our j2 is q1 and k2 is also q1 similarly let's prepare k map for j1 now let's put values for j1 so here you can see j1 is 0 1 so here values are 0 1 don't care don't care then 1 and 3 times don't care for k1 values are 3 times don't care and then 1 you need to remember it is always 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 7 then don't care don't care 1 don't care don't care don't care 1 don't care then j0 is 1 3 times don't care 1 3 times don't care and then 0 don't care 0 don't care for k0 it is don't care 0 don't care 1 and then all 4 don't care now let's make groups so here see first group is we can make group of these four ones we can make group of either adjacent ones or overlapping ones and then I'll make another group for this one as these four adjacent cells. So J2, sorry, J1 is equals to for this, this is only Q2 and Q2 is 1. So Q2 plus for this card here Q1 is 0, 1. So we will we'll not take Q1. See if two variables are same then only we can take that variable and q0 is 1 and here also 1 so q0 here what we have is we ha we don't have any zero what we have is ones and don't care so what we can do we can make group of all these eight cells and then equation becomes k1 is equals to 1 when we make group of all cells equation is 1 for this j0 we can make group of these horizontal cells and here q2 is 0 so equation is j0 is equals to value of q2 is 0 so whenever value is 0 we take bar of that variable q2 bar and we, we are not taking anything from these q1 and q0 because everywhere their values are different when we compare two columns here we have compared two columns and value of q0 was same and that is why we have taken q0. So you need to understand basic k maps for this and I have prepared video on that also and link is given in the description box. Or you can visit my channel there you can find the links for videos like jk flip flops, working of jk, ms jk, race around condition, counters, shift resistors. So here in this K0 we can make group of these four cells and equation becomes Q1. Now we have equations for all inputs J0, K0, J1, K1, J2, K2. Now let's draw the diagram based on these equations. So here we will take three flip flops. This is my J2, K2, Q2, Q2 bar, J1, K1, Q1 and Q1 bar, J0, K0, Q0 and Q0 bar. Here we are des designing this circuit with synchronous clock it means single external clock is connected to all flip-flops so here i'll connect single external clock to all the flip-flops this is our synchronous circuit
this is my clock input now look at the connections for j2 and k2 both of them are q1 j2 is q1 k2 is also q1 so we will simply connect this q1 to j2 and k2 q1 to j2 k2 next is j1 k1 what is k1 k1 is vcc or one so k1 is connected to vcc what about j1 j1 is q2 plus q0 to implement addition which gate we use we use or gate so here i'll use one or gate output of that or gate is connected to j1 and inputs are q2 plus q0 so one input is q2 and another input is q0 here is q0 so we are done with j2 k2 j1 k1 now next is j0 k0 what is k0 q1 this is a q1 q1 to k0 and j0 is q2 bar so j0 is q2 bar so these are the connections for a circuit so here we can check outputs at these points q2 q1 and here is q0 so we will get output at q0 q1 and q2 we need to check output parallelly at these three points and then there you will get these outputs first 0 0 0 will come after 0 0 0 0 0 1 will come then 3 will come then 4 will come then 6 will come and again it will go back to 0 so this is as expected sequence and this is our circuit so steps are very first step is we you need to write all the present outputs these are next output the states which are not given here for these states we will simply put don't cares then we know present output we know expected output based on these outputs you can write expected inputs here we are designing using jk flip flop instead of jk you can use any flip flop in case of t flip flop you need to use excitation of t flip flop and here what will come t2 t1 and t0 if you wanted to use d flip flop simply d2 d1 d0 will come and excitation table of d flip flop you need to refer see truth table is when we know inputs and we try to identify the outputs excitation table is when i know my present output expected next output and we find out the inputs which we need to apply after getting these inputs based on this excitation table next step is putting these inputs in k map then from this k map you will get equations and last step is simply you need to implement these equations here and your circuit is ready so in this way we can implement or design sequence generator using jk flip flop so this sequence generator can be used in counters in case of timers in case of pseudo random pattern generation in case of pattern generation uh, in vlsi so these are the applications of sequence generation uh, generator so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to share it with your friends like it and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching